Okay. Um, you know, to to be a target individual consists of a lot of nonsensical things happening around you. It's part of kind of disorienting you and just dumbing you down and just break you down and make you hard to function. You know, it's hard for me to do things now because of this things they do to me, this nonsensicalness. Um, but reality is that this is what they've been doing to so many others. Uh, as you're gonna see in the future videos, you'll see more like testimonials of other people talking about what they do. But with me, it's try to create this false persona, really pedophilia centric nastiness that they do to me, and then try to make me subscribe to this. It was, you know, right now they're bringing up whatever they can to to try to find validations in the obvious manipulation they do. It's just obvious manipulations, right? It's so obvious, it's just almost, it's pathetic almost. And you hear these bottom feeders try to talk to you in a certain way, so try to make sense, right? And using, try to be like, using, you know, they were, at one point they're like, you, you are chastising us or something like that, or, you, you, you know, try to use a language to try to, <laughs> to try to, Make it seem like it makes sense. Make it seem that these people are just being very normal. They they are being the most logical at the in their like they they right now is like a logical moment in their life. It's logical in different ways, but it's not in the way you're presenting. It's logical in the sense that you are in a program where you're supposed to make somebody lose their mind and accept things that are falsified. That's the logic. But they are trying to find these logical ways of making somebody subscribe to a falsified reality. Um, so let me just start from the beginning and always present myself. I'm a target individual uh, and I've been a target individual uh, since I started working at this company. Uh, I've, I've not shortly after I started working for this company, I'm thinking like uh, 2014 or so. And then <laughs> ever since, uh, things have changed biz bizarrely, slowly just like things happening to me. Uh, and on August 19, after just quitting the, the place maybe three, four months, I, I moved to this place in, in New York. I moved to New York and then things become more and more, like it became more intensified. People were following me, people were act, you know, they acting certain ways. And then on August 19, 2019, that's when the V2K started. And that's when I found out like this is something else it's crazy it's beyond i thought uh, all along it was just my employer just like doing things to make my my old employer to make my life hard because they you know but i found out they put me in this program where they do these things to people where they uh experiment and, and i'm a subject in this human experimentation um so today they've been manipulating me to experience disgusting ways of reacting to kids of all ages babies babies uh, uh toddlers uh preteens teenager late teen even young adults like very young adults and they like, give me stimulation just because they're young not even because they're like um, i find them attractive or i find them stimulating no just because they're young and so now they, they were trying to bring up before august 19 2019 any moment where there was like interaction of some sort with some kind of college individual like young adult right and they bring up things whatever they can to try to make me subscribe some of them is even so humiliating right now they just talked they're bringing back a moment where i used to live when i moved to new york i was living in a building where there's a lot of college uh people like right? there's a university around there there's very a lot of young professional young adults living in that building and i remember going down i saw this young adult moving in with her you know she's moved she bring her stuff there she's moving to an, uh, an apartment there this is an apartment where there's mostly you know if they're not locals they're people who come from you know students and stuff right uh and she's not definitely not local uh and so she she moves in and you know she's not bad looking at all you know um she's she's dressed in a very revealing ways and not bad looking and I'm like oh well, I should like you know ask her to help her to, to help her move you know th things like that um, you know obviously I never talked to her or whatever uh, but I was like oh wow she's not not bad looking at all you know like you know she's dressed in this somewhat sexual way she's you know good looking and I'm seeing her and at that time I'm freshly single after I'm, I moved to New York, I'm, I'm like literally trying to like, you know, get back to uh, kind of at some point, you know. 
So I'm like, she's moving in, she's doing this, and I'm thinking, oh, uh, you know. Uh, and so now they're like, oh, how old is she? Huh? <laughs> you know, she's like a college kind of student, so I'm in the early 20s or so. You know, at that time, I'm, what, 31, 30-something. 30 but I'm like, oh, she's not bad looking. Um, and they're like, you see, that's proof. You're a pedophile. You understand how retarded, stupid these people are? And they're like, no, but she's not moving alone. Maybe she's moving, or no, she's obvious, and this is not where her family lives. Right? They try, they, they try to get you to accept these things. Like, it makes, like, they want you to accept. It's like, what? First of all, I didn't even have any interaction with her. But to, to think that I will not be able to see a 20 some year old good looking. If, like, what? what you, and mind you, I'm like 31 at this point. 30. So, like, they're like, what? They, they delusion, of course. And they're like, no, you see, that's proof. Because. I myself will not, at this point, especially now, I, would, I could never imagine myself dating somebody in the tw early 20s, right? Uh, but to be, to be like, no, I will not be able to see a 20-some-year-old young woman being beautiful, good-looking, this is delusional. They want me to be like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And usually, of course, me, I'm not, I, I will never... I have to thank for all the women, but I have seen some beautiful young, young adult in the twenties. Of course, these people are just delusional. But they're like, no. But you said before that you, you know, you really the one did some twenty-two year old. I'm like, really? No, actually, no, I wouldn't really. I, I won't. I couldn't imagine myself doing that. I've seen some beautiful twenty-two year old, of course, but I, I will never like. It's, it's just like, I remember, and so the. They try to use these moments like, no, you see that, you see that's proof, that's proof. And mind you, these people, right, um, as they try to vilify you, as they try to break you down and make you be something you're not, and finding ways to try to break you into something you're not, they actually work for entities where pedophilia is an actual problem. These bottom feeders here are just the nobodies. Their job is to get you to break you down into accepting a person that is falsified. That's why they wake up day in and day out, opening the door, saying whatever they need, slamming the door, going back in the... That, this, they, they are just the nobodies. The entities that contract this low life, this intelligence community, I actually feel pedophile. Well, here they're like, oh, this college student, you see how you looked at her? It's delusional. No? It's like, no, we dared. And they go into the scripts that this, these entities have created to disorient you. You know, I was laughing. And I was like, oh, they're going to laugh. Because they, they dumb themselves down to this level. They, it, it goes even further. I remember something they were bringing up the, 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 before that is I remember walking I'm in, uh, in, in, in this, this part of New York, right? Usually, if you see somebody who's not the culture, like if you, you know, if, if, they're not Hispanic, if they're not black, and they're, let's just say, white, you know that they, there's a college not too far, from, a, a big college or not too far from there. So you know they're students from this area. And you know, then this target, like, uh, in this program, there's a lot of college students involved. You hear other people talk about, like, I remember I was listening to this testimony of this woman who lived in New York. She was, like, saying there's a lot of, like, students from Colombia involved in her targeting, doing it. So, so this, they use students, college students, to, to partake. And I, I was walking um, in this neighborhood that is mostly black and Hispanic people. And I, you know, walk, I walk, and then somebody bump on, accidentally opening the door, bumping and bump toward me, like bump on me. And I'm like, oh, I apologize. And she's like, a, I'm giving her like a 21, 22 year old white person, a female. And she, and I'm like, oh my gosh, sorry. And I smile when I say sorry. I like politely, oh, I'm sorry. And I, 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 it's, but I naturally smile, like to try, try to show politeness, right? I can't, you know, like I don't say, like I smile. And I say sorry, smiling. Um, and she, she, she looks at me and she's just like, she just smiled. Like, I, like she got all light, like she, her face light up. And I'm like realizing, oh, she thinks I'm trying to like flirt with her. I'm sorry. Oh, and I was like, oh, oops, no, no, I'm sorry. Like I like, oh, I, I don't want you to think that. No, I'm not doing that. And and I said sorry, and I just walk away immediately when she smiled like me, at me in this way, in in this interested way. 
Like she like looked at me and just smiled. Like like her face light up and I'm I'm like I realized, oh, you think I'm trying to like no I'm I'm okay. So, and, I, and I walk away. I was like, oh I'm so, so, no 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 never mind, sorry, sorry. Um and I'm like yes, it's, I'm, it's just like it, she wasn't like nothing wrong with her. No no no. It's just she would do she would not make me want to like create a some interaction at the moment like she she's not let me, let me just say that she's not somebody i was just bad looking at all but to me she was not appealing in in a way for me to even try to have like an interaction of like interest i was just being just polite and she saw this politeness as me being interested in her and she started looking at me and smiling at me in this way and i'm like oh no i'm i'm, I'm sorry sorry and i walk over wait just i'm like oh my gosh i almost ran away because I was like, oh, I was not trying to do that. Sorry. I was not trying to get you to think that. Way. And so this this moment is that like that. And and, if, and then later on, I'm like, you know, I just moved from New York. Right. Um, and now imagine if moments like that happens and, you know, I, I should be like interacting to, with people uh, because I just imagine, I will, you know, I'm a big dreamer, a daydreamer. I do a lot of daydreaming. Like, I'm imagine like before August 19, 2019, I used to have these this daydreams and now it's just disturbing. They just manipulate me to think in these pedophilia ways and disturbing ways. But I would imagine like if this same scenario happened again, smile, like that's how you find like you, you could find somebody special like that in this moment when somebody bump on you and, and then start a conversation. And so I imagine this moment, but if I did something else and they're like, you see, you're thinking about her. I was like, no, I didn't think about her. I was thinking about the moment. I was thinking about what just happened, how, like, in real life, like, if I was interested in this person, I would react a different way. And I was like, okay, next time if something happened like that and I'm, I'm interested, I would have a calm conversation. And they're like, how old is that person? I was like, I don't know. She's, I'm think, I, I think she's a college student. That, that place is a lot of college students, especially you can base by, by race and location to know who's what. She's not a local. She doesn't live here. Like, she lives here, but she's not from here. Her family's not around here. You know, like she's not a lo like for sure. If I told you the location, you know, she's definitely not local, meaning that she's not. She was not raised here. She might be going to school here. She might be, but she's definitely like, and she's college. You, you know, immediately, uh, especially the location is like nope. If, if people look like you, I know they either going doing this, they're working young professionals, or they're college students. So you, you figure that out immediately. Uh, and so I knew she was like a college student. And now they're like, but you see, you thought about this moment if you did it differently. It's like, but you saw the actually the real time moments, right? In the real time, I was, I, I was so in, not interested that I, I, I ran away. I'm not that shy. I'm not that timid. If somebody I'm interested, show interest in that fashion, I will definitely react accordingly. If I'm interested. But if I'm not interested, and she reacts and she does these things to me, I will not, I will be like, oh, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. That's not, yeah, no. And really, <laughs> it means that you really, I'm not interested. It's nothing, it has nothing to do with this person. But it means that I really, because I'm not the most, like, selective individual. But for her to do that to me and for me to react this way, it just means like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and in, in at the time, I thought that, um, I was, uh, <laughs> You know, I thought, I was like, wow, I'm, 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 am, I, am I super good looking now? Like, I accidentally make people interested in me without me trying. And people that don't want them to be interested in me. I don't care if they... And I thought, I was like, wow, I'm, like, I'm, be, I'm become, I'm really good looking here. Like, I'm, I'm more people... <laughs> I'm, I'm the type, I'm their type here. I'm like the type that women like here because I'm getting so much attention. I didn't even try anything and she was looking at me smiling, looking so interested in me. And I, was, I had no intention to, to make her be interested in me. As I was just being polite. And she saw that as me tr being interested in her. Because I smiled. And she, the way she smiled back and she, I was like, oh, whoa, no, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, no. And I just walked away. Like, I'm not that, uh, what's the word again? Um, I'm not this like shelter person. If somebody smile, like if, if I'm interested in a person, you smile at me and you show me interest, I will respond accordingly. It's because I was not interested in this person. So now they, they, they're trying to come up with a story, but, but later on you were like, if it was a different move. 
but in that moment you saw me react to this person do i look like the shy person that would like if, if a woman who's very attractive or somebody who i find interesting does that to me if you think i'll be like oh my gosh no well goodbye no i'll be like oh hi thank you so and like i i will interact accordingly i would not be like oh my gosh oh sorry she just walk away run away as if she has but they have nothing you understand these people would you try to use this moment that's so purely how humiliating it is to do what the man that you try to paint in this nature is even if this person even if she's a, like a young adult you see how she reacted to her in real time because he was he showed no interest in her and when she showed interest in to somebody who was not trying to get her reaction that's how he reacted but they live in this reality they put together and that's why i say reality will always come back to them target individuals this technology has the ability to do so much they can override you override your thoughts they can impose a way of thinking they can pose a logic that is nonsensical they can pose a a, a a a way of thinking that just takes you away from reality that's their job they know what they sign up for and now they are here dumbing themselves down for the purpose of creating this false reality I'm not gonna let them escape. They signed up to dumb themselves down for the purpose of being gods. They can do so much to me. Yesterday, they were, I wake up, it's like, oh, we cemented this, this way of thinking. It's like, yes, we do, but I'm never gonna identify with this. I understand. Uh, uh, target individual, you have to accept what this is. It's not a war. It might be a war for survival for yourself, maybe, but it's not an actual war. You and your brain is are there. They can do whatever they can. You can find ways to try to protect yourself, but they, there's nothing you can do. This is a program led by government entities. These bottom fields, you see them next to you that try to make you accept these stories and ways of seeing things and make you accept these manipulations are just trash that are contracted by these entities. They are disgusting low lives, cowards. Their job is to repeat things over and over they, and then they're gonna try to create a theatrical of some sort for me I know it's gonna be including torture but they've been humiliated they've been humiliated you know life is gonna come back to them properly it's already they already show like while they were trying to paint me in th this persona there's a pedophile they, they still can't say his name this man called Roy Moore have nothing to do with them but because the employer who put me in this program donated to his campaign this man that will go to the YMCA pick up kids as young as 14 years old they can't even say his name and you hear you see what they try to do like it's, it's, it's not even it has nothing to do with them but I just want that's just the way reality just just like okay you keep seeing this you see that it's just embarrassing and they try to find ways to admit, uh, annoy you it's like oh not fair i was like oh, okay well yeah it's not fair for you look how humiliating it is and then to add to this those entities that are contracting these bottom fears there is a problem with pedophilia this is like when they try to do like this thing and, and try to get like people who talk to kids <laughs> they get like cia agents of course they can't do nothing they like they, they, they go through they try to find out who's down in child porn guess what they find some dod people working darpa people work like this is humiliating over and over and over and over and then me i get validated oh they force you to other target individuals what they say they do this thing where they do this program perversion and they aim it toward children young people that's exactly what they do to me i didn't come that's literally what they do to me how, how can one have so much validation it's because reality is just showing it's like something if you don't believe in god if you don't believe this this something that is just humiliating these people without me doing anything and they try to find ways to kind of be like agitating it's like oh no it's the script the cia this, this, this there's this person called robin duncan he says specifically that and he's been studying and talking to to target individuals and seeing the patterns of tactics right they have these ways of dialogues 
using these dialogues tactics to kind of disorient you. This this ways they interact with you via V2K. This technology that can plant, convert like they can force you to to. The, you can hear um, people dialoguing, talking to you remotely, and this technology has been around for a while apparently. And they have these tactics of creating dialogues and scripts that are just degrading, illogical, disorienting, and try to confuse you. Which, this is a tactic that CIA have used to torture people, right? So you understand they have a script, that even the, the textbook, the tactics of, of doing things, even though it's with this, this advanced technology is very CIA-ish. Right, and you hear these bottom feeders try using this, this these tactics, knowing that those entities have a bunch of pedophiles doing things to kids of all ages. And this trash, I try to make you accept these things. And do you know what they say? Are oh, you gonna castrate me? Okay, I I will take my own knife and go there. That's how. That, I, I'm 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 at I'm at, the, I'm at this level where I will take my own knife, knife and uh, uh, here castrate me. This is how life can be. This is the humiliating life. That's, that's, that, that's the way they, they have to, to cope with reality. This is not a life of worth living, this people's life. It's humiliating, it's embarrassing. It's a life, a disgusting life, sad, pathetic life. And they will try to find ways, no, you just chest, whatever they say. To try to like, make me, Think of them as like, oh, just oh, it's, it's like, no, it's fair. I know what you guys do, I know what you guys are. I'm not gonna let you live your fantasy. You guys are pedophiles, pedos, sad, pathetic low lives that try to manipulate people in this disturbing ways. In my mind, they're bringing up things they've done to me, the stimulations they force me to towards some random because they want me. They can, they can create stimulations, sexual stimulations. I'm not the first one. I won't be the last one to say that. They try to play the woke for psyop. This, you know, because I told you this, like, this type of psyop they try to do. And there's a lot of like, college students around. You know that the, 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 the psyop can be of that nature I'm like you a pathetic low life involving program that torture women and their children nasty low lives so I'm never gonna let them live their fantasy I know who put me in this program I know why they can't say Roy Moore I know what they've done to people I know the storylines they try to put together in the cement as, as still illogical and nonsensical to prove this false persona to all my tag individuals, you gotta be strong. Know yourself. They're gonna feed off whatever sufferance you go through because they're bottom feeders, they're pathetic low life. It's a sad thing when you know that to find satisfaction, you have to see somebody suffer, suffer because you've been humiliating yourself so much. So much that man, I'm just, I can't wait to see this person scream in pain because that's gonna make me feel happy. <laughs> it's just because you've been doing humiliating things to yourself and I've been bringing that up over and over. Target individual, when they try to make you think in certain ways, make you find logic in the things they put together in these p weird pieces and that makes actually no sense, but they try to make videos, your testimonials. I know it's not gonna sound normal. I'm conscious that when I speak about what's happening to me, it's hard for people to grasp what I'm saying because it's, it's a lot of like manipulation that's uh, psychological. They try to remove you from reality. That's why isolation is not good. But they push you in an isolated environment. And this isolation helps them create, maybe helps them with breaking you down because you get out of touch with reality. They try to break you down and because you're out of touch with reality, it's easy for them to come up with stories like that and then try to put things together and cement it. You have to be strong. So to all my target individuals, know who they are, know who you are. Do not subscribe to these nonsensical things. Listen to what I just said to them right there. The people around here, they're like, oh, see what proved it. And, they're, uh, and they, they truly dumb themselves to think that way. They cope, like they find a way to just tr turn it off, like turn logic away. Somehow, it's because obviously they compromise as hell. So they're like, 
Oh my god. It's an art pedal. <laughs> trash. Tell my target individual, stay strong. And know that justice will be done for the low lifeness that these people have done to people. The, the, the nasty things they've done to people. And the low lifeness these people live, they get theirs. So you see the humane life they have to live.